Hi guys, so I am going to be teaching you how to make a face chart today and we are going to start out by printing out the face charts because I know that MAC face charts are not available. So I'm going to show you how to make a face chart from literally the beginning to end. So right now I'm on my computer and I am on Google. So what I'm going to do is on Google I'm going to search print, whoops, printable Mac face charts. As you can see right there, I just typed in Mac, printable Mac face charts. Um, honestly, the best face chart that I found was the one right here. Um, and this is by MakeupAnarchist.com. She has all the Mac face charts here. So here are the blank ones. She has this one with the eye um, closed. The one that you mostly see often, which is that one, that one's basically the same, this one, and that's what she has on her website, or his website. But anyway, this is the one that I picked out. This is my favorite. So what I'm going to do is, um, on my computer, I'm just going to right click it, and I'm just going to go to Save Image As, and I'm just going to save it as anything. I'm going to save. Now this is what it looks like. So this is what my face chart looks like when I've saved it to my computer. Now what I want to do is I want to get rid of these things right here that just show where it's from. So I've just saved that under big face chart. What I'm going to do after that is I'm going to go to a website called pickmonkey.com and this is what it looks like. I'm just going to click edit and then it's going to pull up all my pictures. I'm going to go to pictures and I'm just going to go ahead and go get that face chart that I just saved. So it's going to come up here. Now there's definitely an easier way to do this. This is just the way that I did it because um, it was easiest to me. I'm going to go to the um, left hand side right now and I'm gonna click on overlays and then I'm going to go to geometric and I'm going to click on the rectangle now the rectangle shows up right here I'm going to change the color of that rectangle to white so that you see it disappears and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cover up these signatures that are on here so that I can put my own on here. So I made that one disappear and then I'm going to make the other ones disappear as well. And this is not to like get rid of um, the person who got this Mac face chart on the computer or whoever makeup anarchist is. This is just so that um, everybody knows that when I color on it or draw on this face chart that it is my work. If you want you can add like a little um, signature on it which I did on a couple of mine. So if you see right here at the bottom of the face chart, it says Beauty by Julia. Cut off a little bit. Um, but you can do that if you want. You just go over to the text tools and you click whatever type of text you want. Let's see which one's pretty. We'll do this one. You're going to click add text. Text box is going to come up and you're just going to type your signature on it. I also like to actually write my signature as well on the face chart. There's a place for it at the bottom. So now that my face chart is cleaned up and it is my face chart, I'm going to save it. And it's going to come to this page right here. I'm just going to click on the word called that says Sean. And that's going to bring it to the highest um, dimension and quality. So I'm going to save to my computer. 
save as the same thing. It's just going to rewrite over the one that we saved before. And I'm just going to save it. Okay, so here is my face chart right here that I just saved to my computer. What I'm going to do, um, I don't know how to do this for a Mac, so I apologize if you guys have a Mac. I have an HP, um, so I'm just going to do this how I would do it on my computer, and then I'm sure you guys would be able to figure it out because it's not too, too complicated. But anyway, before we print this out, I'm going to zoom out for you. So we're at my desk right now. What you're going to need to print out this face chart is obviously paper, but you are going to need special paper for it to actually be a face chart because on computer paper, makeup is not going to stick to it and it is not going to blend. So we need a special type of paper. Now this type of paper, I kind of did a little bit of research to find out and basically cardstock paper. So here is the paper that I picked up right here. I picked this up from Target. Um, it's just premium bright white cardstock. You want to make sure that this is cardstock because that is what is going to help the makeup stick. As you can see, this paper is very thick and it is a lot different from computer paper. So this is what a computer paper face would look like. As you can see, it's um, see-through. Makeup is not going to stick and it is not going to blend to this paper. But if you were going to use um, cardstock, this is what the cardstock is going to look like. As you can see, it looks a little more legit and it's heavy enough to hold the makeup. And then also, just so that you guys know, you could also get away with using um, this type of paper. This type of paper is um, construction paper, like kids' construction paper that comes in different colors. This is what I had in the beginning um, before I bought the cardstock, so I just tried this out. It does work. It doesn't blend as well as the cardstock does. Um, but this is something that you could try if you just want to play around with it. This is an HP Envy. Um, you want to make sure that your com your printer can handle cardstock paper. Most of them can, up to like 120 um, millimeters, I think it is. I don't. I'm not really sure. But here's my cardstock paper right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the bottom where all my paper is. I'm going to take out all of my computer paper just because my printer gets it confused and it doesn't print correctly. I'm going to go ahead and place in just a little bit of cardstock paper. And then I'm going to shut this and we're going to turn back to my computer. So basically to print it, I just go all the way up here on my computer and I click print. This is not a file or a document. This is a picture file. So it is going to print differently from anything else. That's how you should save it. So I'm going to click print. And this screen is going to come up for me. Like I said, I apologize. I don't have a Mac. So I'm not sure how this would work for them. Um, but work with me it's not too hard you just have to change one of the settings so that it prints on this paper so I'm just gonna zoom you in a little bit now what I want to change is I want to keep everything the same if you want to want more copies than one you can go ahead and put this up I'll put it to five and then if for first time you so I would keep it at one just in case so the one thing that I want to change on this little setting right here is I want to change the paper type. The printer is fine, the paper size is fine, the quality normal is fine. Um, you can put it to best if you want. 
So then the paper type, it's on plain paper right now, which is just plain computer paper. You want to go all the way down to greeting card because a greeting card is what has the same thickness as cardstock. So um, there's two different types of greeting cards. There's glossy and there's matte. This is not a glossy paper. This is a matte paper. So we are going to click on matte greeting card. And this is just going to help the printer print onto this type of paper because if you keep it on plain paper, the printer is not really going to recognize it and it's not going to print on that paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and click print. And it's just going to take two seconds to kind of set up and print and then we are going to wait for it to come out right there. So this is what it is going to look like when you are all finished printing it. Um, I ran out of ink so this one turned out to be um, green. But anyway, so that's what it's going to look like. It's going to just be on this paper and then you are welcome to go ahead and draw and paint and put makeup on this little face right here. Trust me, it makes it so much easier than putting it on your own face. It is a lot different and there are a lot of different techniques that you need to learn to figure out how to make this face chart um, work with you um, just because it's on a flat surface and not a 3D, 3D surface like your face. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through a couple of steps that will help you start off using this face chart. <laughs> 